Hi guys, so a little a video here. We're being we're gonna be doing the pitching rotation. We're continuing this uh, list here. Uh, let's get into it. We're doing the Pirates right now. So uh, starting pitcher. So basically, this is not in order. It's uh, it's gonna change in, in, throughout the season. Um, we're just going through um, a little change they did in the off season um, for the pitching rotation, uh, the injuries. And uh, what they did last year, and what they uh, will add to this team. So let's get into it. So I know the season's already started, but uh, we're gonna get to this playlist anyway. So uh, so first we got Mitch Keller. Last year with the Pittsburgh Pirates, a uh, good year, thirteen victory, nine loss, um, four point two one ERA with two hundred and ten strikeouts. He pitched for 194.1 innings of play. And that's very important, the innings of play. Because if last year a player didn't do well, you add a player that will get his minutes down and get um, his win uh, and improve this season. So after that, you got Matt Martin Perez. He uh, they, they grabbed him in the free agent from the Texas in December 2023. Uh, last year he he did ten wins, four loss, four point four five ERA with ninety three strikeouts, one hundred and forty one point two innings of play. So that will add to the pitching rotation. So that is a good addition. Uh, then the um, the uh, they call up a, a player, Jared Jones. Uh, last year with Triple A, uh, with the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, four four and five record. 4.72 ERA, 99 strikeouts, 82 innings of play. So that will add with the Pirates, uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Then you get Bailey Falter, 2-2 two and two record last year, 5.58 ERA with 32 strikeouts, 40.1 innings of play. Then you got, uh, they added uh, in the trade uh, in December 2023 from the Braves, but he played with Seattle. Last year, with a 4-1 record, 5.22 ERA with 34 strikeouts, 50 innings of play. So that will add uh, a lot of pitching for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Also, you got in the injury for starting pitcher, Johan Avildo. Um, he had a Tommy John surgery in 2023. Uh, he might be back this year. Uh, last year, 9-14. Nine victory, nine wins, fourteen loss, four point three one ERA with two hundred and ten strikeouts, one hundred and seventy seven point two innings of play. That's why they added because they need the innings of play. Uh, he didn't really had a good season. Uh, he had a decent with the uh, strikeouts in the innings of play, but uh, win uh, win record didn't do very well. So if he comes back, he's gonna wanna um, uh, improve that. So, um, and then you got reliever pitching. You got David Bednar, 3-3 three and three record, 2.00 ERA with 80 strikeouts, 67.1 innings of play. Uh, Aradis Chapman, so they added Aradis Chapman from the free agent from uh, the Rangers in January 2024. Last year he did 6-5 and five record, 3.09 ERA with 103 strikeouts, 58 innings of play. Then you got Ryan Borucki, 4-0, See, so he had a really good season. 4 uh, wins, 0 loss, 2.45 ERA, 33 strikeouts, 40.1 innings of play. So they, if there's good players in a relief pitcher, they'll go and start in pitcher if there's a lot of injuries. Uh, they'll grab players from AAA. Um, they'll call up some players. So um, this season will go all over the place. Hunter Stratton with 0-0 zero zero record, but a 2.25 ERA, 10 strikeouts, and 12 innings of play. So it doesn't matter how much uh, you do. 12 innings of play, is twelve. Uh, he, he helped out the uh, pitching rotation last year. Luis L. Ortiz, 5-5 five five record, 4.78 ERA with 59 strikeouts, 86.2 innings of play. Uh, from free agents, uh, he played in uh, Seattle uh, last year, uh, AAA, Ryder Ryan, 4-2 four, four record, 
3.76 ERA, 56 strikeouts, 55 innings played. So that will add uh, with the, uh, the reliever that will help them. Uh, Rod C. Contreras last year had a uh, bumpy uh, year. Three wins, seven loss, 6.59 ERA with 55 strikeout, 68.1 innings of play. So that 55 strikeout and 68 innings of play is really good. So we'll see if he can add a better season maybe, a better record to that this year. So we'll see how it goes there. Then they got from free agent uh, from the Phillies uh, in February this year, Josh Fleming. 2-0 record, 4.70 ERA, 25 strikeouts, 51.2 innings of play. So that will help all the players here. 51 innings of play, that will help uh, out right there. So in injuries, you got Colin Edderman. Uh, he, uh, last year he had 0-3 record. 3.86 ERA with 58 strikeouts, 56 innings of play. He has an illness in March. He'll be back very soon. Carmel Molozinski, 3-3 record, 2.25 ERA, 34 strikeout, 36 innings of play. He had the elbow inflammation in March. He'll be back very soon. Um, he'll be back this year for sure. Dory Moretta, uh, not so much though. 5-2 uh, record, 3.72 ERA last year with 76 strikeout, 58 innings of play. He had a Tommy John surgery. In March 2024, he'll so he'll probably miss a big part of this season, maybe all. So uh, that that's gonna hurt them. But uh, for injuries, they don't have uh, mostly the injuries will come back. We'll see how Joanne Avildo will come back from his Tommy John surgery. But um, they have a decent pitching reliever and pitching rotation in 2024. I, I believe I think they'll get better. Um, and they, they, they are starting very good this season. They always start very good, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and then they slow down later on. We'll see if that's the case this year. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support, and I'll see you soon in more videos. See you guys.